Hi, welcome to Guru Grit. My name is Monica and this is a place where I just record stuff about spirituality and astrology that I really enjoy and I hope that you enjoy it too. So thank you so much for being here. I'm answering more questions this week. I'm finally feeling better. I was wiped out with like two back-to-back -back colds, which is so weird <laughs> for late summer, I suppose. Also weird because I don't get sick that often, so I thought that was... I moved some energy fast and hard in those weeks, so um, I'm feeling better, <sighs> focusing on readings, doing what I do, and I just wanted to make a video on, um, you know, some manifestation stuff because some questions have come up in the lives of people I know and my beautiful viewers, so let's get into it. What I really want to talk about today is dropping things, stopping resistance, less is more, relax, all that wonderful stuff, and give a little anecdote from my own life that honestly still kind of makes me laugh because I can, I'm not stubborn, like I'm a, I'm a flexible person, but when I really believe something with conviction, it's like, it's game over to any circumstance, whatever I want bends to my will because I can be really, really willful and intense, but that doesn't serve me. I've had to learn to be a diplomatic person. I've had to learn to relax, which kind of honestly, is awful, it's jarring, like putting my soul through a cheese grater just because it's not my inherent nature. My nature is like very warrior type, you know? So I've had to learn to be oh, like more chilled out like an artist or something. So um, that is a beautiful dog. I love Huskies, I really want one. I wish I had the time to take care of a dog. Maybe when I'm older I'll get a couple, but let's get into it. Now, when it comes to letting go of one's desire, People often feel afraid that if they let go of the, des of the resistance or how something happens, that they let go of their desire, which means that then what they want won't happen. That's not true. It will happen. You just have to trust that it will happen. You have to believe that it will happen. And you do that by not obsessing about it. If you wanted to be married and you thought about being married every day, you're just asking for marriage. But if you dropped it and you assume that it is done, so if you had a wife, you wouldn't be at work every day thinking it would be so nice to have a wife. You would say she's you know, at home or she's doing whatever and I can't wait to know what she's up to when I ask her later on. You would just expect her that she's already there and you're gonna interact with her. So you kind of have to just have that sense of expectation, confidence and belief be confident in yourself you know self-esteem is really really important when manifesting because you don't want to manifest something in a violent way you want to manifest it in a perfectly smooth beautiful way so I'll give you uh, an example where you know some things were very clearly reflected to me and my issues with like authority that's just like my stuff but that's fine <laughs> Um, I was it last summer late last summer I took my nieces to visit their grandmother at a hospital downtown here and there was no parking I thought that's very odd so I went up the street and parked and I didn't park illegally and I did pay for parking but I don't remember what it was it was like some I don't remember what it was it was one of those things where like between five and seven or something, you can't be there, something to that effect, like one of these random things. I remember getting a parking ticket once because it wasn't posted anywhere, but basically I went to go visit my friend who lives here in Toronto by the beaches or something like that. And it's like during X hours, you have to move on the side that faces the beach or something. And I was like, how would you, but how would you know that if you're not local? And what, like who cares? It's so stupid. So it was one of those like things, it was just small. I did pay for parking, whatever. I come back to this, you know, $40 parking ticket and my and my nieces wanted bubble tea really, really badly. So we stopped for bubble tea. And I remember thinking, oh my God, that was a $50 bubble tea because I got the bubble tea on the ticket. And you can like email. So I emailed the, you know, police, whatever. And I said, well, I did pay for parking. It wasn't strictly like illegal or whatever. And I said, look, can you just make like an exception? You know, it's COVID, this, that. And you know, the person reading it probably just went, eh, like, you know, they don't, they, they really don't care about these things. They said, it, chances if it went in front of a judge, the judge would agree with them. And I'm like, no way, they wouldn't. But I thought, you know what? I was so, I was just so annoyed, you know, like I don't get angry very often. I'm very, very slow to like get angry, <laughs> but I get annoyed. And um, I was supposed to see some, some weeks later, I was supposed to see a friend of mine 
downtown and we were both the same moon signs. She fully understood how I felt. And I was about to go into meditation and I told her the story and I said, I'm just so angry about it and I don't care about the money. It's because I'm right and I don't give a rip. Like I will watch the world burn before I acknowledge that I was wrong. And I'm not wrong. There's nothing to acknowledge. And she was like, she was gassing me up. She was like, I get it. Oh, I hate that. Oh, you know, and I was like, yes, you know. So I thought, what is wrong with you? <laughs> I thought, go meditate, clean your spirit. And I said in that moment when I got off the phone, do you know what? I will never speak another word about this again. And I said to God, I said, you will figure this out. You will summon the $50, okay? Because I don't want just the parking ticket. You're going to cover that bubble tea as well. <laughs> and I said, but you figure it out. I'm not doing, I'm literally not thinking about it anymore, but figure it out in time to pay the ticket. This is not coming out of my money. You just have to figure it out. <laughs> And I went into meditation and I forgot about it and like an hour I was on the highway driving downtown and I thought so funny that an hour ago that like really bugged me and I don't it's like a dream it happened to someone else totally forgot about it one week later I am walking through my neighborhood which I did you know every night like since I moved there for many many years I've never found more than like a nickel or something like that on the ground certainly never found a dollar and I thought a bit early for fall leaves you know, a bit early for autumn leaves and something kind of moved at the court and it was nighttime. I always walk at nighttime <laughs> and I bent down and it was green. So, you know, in Canada, $20 bills are green and I picked it up and it was like folded. And then I went like, and it was two of them. I could kind of see the other one poking out and I thought, oh my God, my parking ticket money. That's crazy. And then my first thought was, oh, but the universe messed up because there's not enough for my bubble tea. And I went like that to like split the money open and a purple $10 bill popped out. So it was exactly $50 a week after I told God, you figure it out, I'm not doing this. And I kept my word. The next morning I woke up, I went online, I paid the ticket. And then with that tenor, I said, it's for the bubble tea. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna circulate it. I'm gonna circulate it into the world. I love bubble tea, but I'm not like crazy about it. But my sister is, that's why her children love it so much. And the, that same week, this was like a Sunday night or something. On the Friday, my sister had the day off work and she was in low spirits. And I said, come on, we're gonna go for a walk. I took her for bubble tea, went into the woods, had a whale of a time. So whatever it is that's bugging you, drop it. Let it go and watch how what you want shows up for you. I promise it'll be more magical than you can dream. Hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye.